Alright guys, here we go with this awful, awful deck. Um, if I knew for a fact I was going to draw a land next turn, I would keep this. But I don't know that for a fact. Oh, it's so mediocre if I draw a land though. Okay, I'll mulligan. Alright, we have plays this time. I'll keep. Um, if you missed the draft for some reason... You're about to get into probably the worst deck I've ever drafted in Origins. Um, it is a Sphinx's Tutelage deck that doesn't currently have Sphinx's Tutelage. has a bunch of Artificers, Epiphanies, and Draw Spells. And not a lot of other good cards. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Yeah, I'll keep. Opponent says keep. All right, and we're on path to Screech and Scab. Hopefully I draw lands. I can go Screech and Scab into Land War Impath. Artificer's Epiphany. I'm looking to hold on until I can get a tutelage down. My opponent goes... Oh, well, that's obnoxious. Wow, way to draw a 6-drop on turn 2. I have the worst luck in Magic Online and Open in Hands. I feel like I mulligan more often than I keep. Like, for every hand I keep, I feel like I have to mulligan two hands. And it's very consistently bad hands. Even 17 card decks, one landers, stuff like that. It happens a lot. And then I draw things like six drops. If I draw Nissa's Revelation next turn, I'm calling shenanigans. Alright, my opponent's just going for aggressive deck. If I draw a land, I feel like I'm in fine shape. And we drew a four drop, so we're going to be pretty far behind. Um, yeah, my I've noticed a lot in the last like four or five sets of games, nearly all of my opponents have been able to curve like one drop into two drop into three drop into four drop, and then I just like sit here on two lands not doing anything. And then if I do win, it's because I had to top deck very well. Strange he doesn't attack with that construct. Um, I'm okay with that. Yeah, look, three drop. <laughs> One drop into two drop into three drop. If I see a four drop next turn, I don't know. If I don't hit a land, I, I just... I already feel bad about this, like, he's got five creatures on board on turn three, I've got one and nothing to do. Well, there's a land. So we're going to play Valeran Wardens, pretty decent blocker. Let's look to trade off Scab for something. And then maybe these Impaths can be pretty useful for me. Right now I'm just looking to trade a bunch of things. And he has a javelin and the removal spell. Yep, there's a four drop. <laughs> I just, um, I don't even know what to say to that. It's pretty insane. Like, perfect curve for my opponent. I mean, absolutely perfect. And I missed my land drop. We could have curved well we draw that land one turn earlier. Into another screeching scab. Game's not over yet, but it feels pretty over. Didn't even see what this milled. Void Mage and Stratus Walk. This time milling Stratus Walk and Might of the Masses. Didn't mill any lands, so 15 of the last 26 cards in my or I'm sorry, 14 of the last 26 cards in my deck are lands. Which is incredible. Is this going to be a 5 drop? Oh, Rogue's Passage? I guess we're not doing anything else. Yep, mitigate as much damage as possible here. Scab, going to block it. Oh, I'm taking 4 down to 9. No land again.
to share. Two, three, four, five, six puts me down to three, and I'm just dead next turn. Well, dead the following turn. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, there's my um my signature bad draws. Um, happens quite a bit. Vine snare is not good here. Nothing's really good here. Nothing's good in the main board. Nothing's good in the sideboard. So we're just going to ship back and hope to draw a land that I can actually keep for once. Keep. Yes, I would like to play. I would like. Yes, I would like this hand. But it does need to draw more lands. It has visionary. Everything is banked. And on you, Visionary. Everything. Not you, Screech and Scab. I don't care about you. Alright, let's see if you go perfect curve again. Fox wins something. You got the Construct? Or the Bellows Lizard? Yes, no one drop from our opponent. And another Visionary? Insane. Yes, draw me cards. Oh, no land. Come on, give me a land. I did put 17 in the deck, right? I feel like I did. Alright, we get two more shots at lands next turn. We have so many draw spells. Visionary, Stratus Walk. We can play Screech and Scab. But I don't really want to mill lands. I don't really... I, I don't like Screech and Scab. Oh, I'm fine with that. My opponent kept a one lander. And used Fiery Impulse on a card. Probably shouldn't have. Um, I don't have a three drop, so I'm fine. Just going... I guess I should get Scab down. The reason for that is if he's stuck on one land, we can actually start mounting an attack and try to win that way. Take advantage of the fact that he kept a bad hand. All right, opponent, no reason for my opponent to scoop there. I guess he's just as frustrated as I am, but that's fair. I had a bad hand, he kept a bad hand, although he kept a one-lander, so that's on him. Um, he was on the draw, so his, in, his deck is probably super low curve. Um, which makes me wish, and I... I, I hate saying this. It makes me wish I had um, oh, or a uh, not whelming wave, but um, displacement wave. Uh, do I want a vine snare over like a six drop? Yeah. Goodbye, Nissa's revelation. You're not doing anything this game. Do I want another vine snare over anything like Vastwood Gorger? I don't think Vastwood Gorger is gonna do anything this game. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just going to fog. Yep. There we go. Alright, let's play an actual game of magic. You play spells, I play spells. You draw lands, I draw lands. You don't beat Sphinx's tutelage. He hasn't seen the tutelage yet. Uh, we can keep this. We're not doing anything till turn three. But we get to draw, and if we have to, we Stratus Walk. All right, you got a one drop this time? Yes, no one drop. That's good. That'll be good once we get to it. All right, ship back and see if he has Dragon Fodder or something else. I imagine he has to, right? I hope he doesn't lighten and Javelin or Thief. Yep, there's the Dragon Fodder. Unfortunately, I don't get to do anything about it yet. Um, probably play Thief first instead of Water Courser. Chief of the Foundry. That's got to be good in his deck considering he has the Gear Crafter. Alright, take two and then we can start playing things now. 
All right, so I like Water Courser more against his deck, so I'm gonna play the Thief and see if that gets killed. Then take four this turn. If you Lightning Javelets, that's fine. Not great, but it is fine. If he attacks with the goblins, I'll just block and he can use a fiery impulse to finish my guy off. Yeah, let's see. Um, I would be okay with that. Just blocking the chief of the foundry doesn't seem good though. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, Majoring Boy, not too worried about. Opponent, running out of cards in hand, but I'm not doing so much myself. I think this turn, I get back, or I play down Empath, and hope to set up a two-card two two card turn next turn. Alright, Epiphany is not what we want. I'll see if I can get a creature off this by scrying those to the bottom. Revealed Vine Snare, so that's going to buy me a turn. I can go... No, Vine Snare costs three. This turn, he attacks with Majoring Bully. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, our opponent just took nothing but small creatures and is looking to get a fast win. Um, I'll take... Four. I kind of want to stratus walk something, but then I can't block or I can't block it. I kind of want to stratus walk his goblin just to draw a card here. Stratus walk's going to be pretty bad in this matchup. We'll just get Water Courser down though. Have additional blockers. Our opponent's strategy is working against us. It sucks that we didn't do anything before turn 3, so he was able to get an extra damage. Bodden Construct is decent here. Guardians, I'm not worried about. The Construct does attack as a 3 2 though. We get to eat his Majoring Bully, so if he doesn't attack with anything else... Yeah, he attacks with some other stuff, though. Cool, we just get to eat Majoring Bully. So... That worked out fine. I'm surprised he didn't attack with Chief. He probably just didn't want me to double block it. Alright, Stratus Walk again. We could get in for... 6 damage, but that doesn't seem good. I'm going to go and Stratus Walk his Defender because it's not doing anything. I need creatures. Come on, give me something. Nope, I'm going to Stratus Walk it again. Give me a 2 drop. There's the tutelage that's not going to be good in this game. Even though he's mono red. Alright, if he attacks with everything this turn. <laughs> Our opponent is happy with his flying defender. Let's see, let's see. Land of War, probably block bonded, bonded construct and then. Water Courser takes care of one of the others. Alright, I imagine our opponent has something here. So let's do some blocks. Try to get out off the field and... The worst thing he could have really is... Um, fiery Impulse. 
No, we'll see what happens. Probably something to finish off Water Courser. Rune Servitor is good for me. Ooh. Well, not really ooh, but... Alright, well, let's play our win con. Prevent all damage that would be done this turn by creature of the powerful. Alright, I don't think we're winning this game. Could take three, four, five, six. Hmm. Water Courser could kill this off. We take three. Honestly, I think I just want to clear that goblin token off. Or I could take four down to four. I don't want to lose water courser, the reason being is um Oh no I can't. Alright, so I gotta go to blocks first. I probably shouldn't drop into lightning javelin range either. Not in a very good spot. Let's see. Two. Clear off Chief, I go down to four, and then this loses its boost. But then I have nothing left. If I clear off Servitor, we both draw a card and I take three, go down to five. Then we get to draw a card and I mill him. I don't want a Vine Snare here. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna pump our guy. Alright, now I'll take three. Now Epiphany end of turn. He does mill from the tutelage here. Alright, drew something useless. Pro opponent probably drew something great. And double land for the opponent, which he's probably happy with. Great, awesome, fantastic. Feel like I can't win. Oh, discard this. Alright, didn't hit any doubles. Opponent's got guys. And I don't see any way to tutelage him out. Stop drawing land, stop it. We hit so many lands. Gotta play Screech and Scab here. Aeronauts would have been okay. But play lands. I don't have enough to Wild Instinct plus Vine Snare, so we can't do that. So the plan this turn is Vine Snare. So we get to fog one turn. No reason to block. Alright, just pass your turn. Stop playing creatures. Stop it. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh, we got a repeat. Did we get a repeat? No, Ram Roller. All right, we can Wild Instincts and have two blockers. Kill this thing. Block and block. Take two. Get rid of lands. Void Mage. Would have liked to draw Void Mage. Alright, let's kill this guy. Make me a. Yeah, let's just kill him. Go ahead, sir. There's no way we're getting rid of 11 cards in our opponent's turn. We can mill them twice with our draw plus uh, activation. Alright, let's go to blocks. That's got to go there. That's got to go there. Take two. Man, if we had drawn tutelage earlier, though, we've been fine with the double stratus walk. Ouch. Hate losing the decks like this. So, Vine Snare doesn't do it. Uh huh. There, we, we found our win condition. What are the chances we get through all of his cards? Let's see, if I play Rock Smaller, am I still alive next turn? I think so. Yeah, I can survive, assuming he doesn't draw anything. And then mill him once, draw or activate to mill again. And then we have to hit some sort of duplicate. Down to one life. Block here. Block here. Elvish Visionary is what I want to draw. I don't have anything to deal damage to me. Alright, come on, Visionary, so I can play Activate. Pass. Uh. Alright, we get one more chance. If we hit two red cards, or if we draw a visionary, we can win this. <laughs> or another two mana draw spell. All right, let's try it out. Activate. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Discard. Doesn't matter. No, off by one activation. Off by one. Man, one time. I asked you for one time. Yeah, if we'd hit Visionary there, we would have been able to play it and then get rid of his last two cards. Man, that's so unfortunate. Super unfortunate. One turn away from winning off of the tutelage. He goes down to one card in his deck. And all he has to do is attack. Yep, you got it.